Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we're going to talk about how to present a nice creative title screen where you can display someone's information. So perhaps you are doing like a TV show and you want to showcase somebody in a motion graphic. This is exactly what we're doing. Or maybe you're doing like a team bio in a presentation. That's what I want to focus on. But more specifically, I want to focus on the graphic design of this, not so much the animation. So no matter what you're doing, you're going to be able to take away some great graphic design techniques from this tutorial. This video is sponsored by VideoHive, which is the leading After Effects template marketplace on the internet. They provide thousands of high quality After Effects templates that are pre-made and ready to go. So if you're looking to save a ton of time and have a professional looking result, go ahead and check out VideoHive. All the video demos you're seeing right now are professionally produced from VideoHive, which are very related to our tutorial. So go ahead and check out our links in the description for our top five title sequences. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in this video and let's get started. So first things first, we have nothing and it's all about design. How do we make this look nice? So start with our background, go up to layer, new, solid. And go up to effect, generate gradient ramp. And what we're gonna do here is we wanna find two nice contrasting colors that will blend nice together. So maybe we'll do like a blue. We'll grab the eyedropper tool, select that blue, select the second color here, and maybe change it to or maybe a little bit purple. All right, awesome. And then what I wanna do is I wanna grab the start ramp and put it in the corner over here. Grab the end ramp and put it in the lower corner over here so we have this nice gradient that goes across like this. So now we have a pretty sizable background and if you want you can always move that up a little bit more. Go ahead and increase the ramp scatter to block off any banding. If you see any banding it's because of my recording software and YouTube's compression here. But let's come here and let's continue to work here. So let's talk about the elements that we need. So obviously I want to display my you know my horrible headshot and we need some name and maybe just some extra information to display in this. So Let's continue to work on the design. Let's grab the rectangle tool. Make sure no layer is selected and just outline everything here. Click on the word fill, set it to none. And click on the word stroke and set this to solid color. And you can change the stroke width over here at the top. And go to the align tab and center this layer up. So now you have a nice border in here. If you don't see the align tab, go up to window align. And of course, if you need to change the size of the stroke, go into the shape layer, go to the rectangle path and you can break the chain for size and you can always resize this depending on how big you want this to be. So now we have a nice box and an area of focus. And if you bring up your title stage, you'll see that, hey, maybe this does make a little sense. Okay, so now we need to present some information here. And this is where graphic design and typography makes a lot of sense. So grab the textile tool and you want to bring in your information. So we have you know, motion graphics. And now we want to bring in like two other pieces of text. So maybe my name as well. Cannot spell my name. It's Joyce Wa. Okay, Joshua. And then we'll do like another line as well on this one, no well. All right. So we have three pieces of text in here and we need to make this, you know, all stand out because this together actually does look pretty nice. So you can grab all three of these text layers. You go to the line tab and left align them. And, you know, that actually looks pretty cool. But so there's two concepts I would think about here, minimalistic and going over the top. So if you don't have a lot of information, things going to look really nice if it's minimalized or if you don't have a lot of information and you want to fill the screen, make everything big, right? You want to be able to fill the you want to be able to fill the screen here and put emphasis on the information that's important. And that's what we're going for. Maybe we'll do a feature tutorial on minimalistic design, but we're going for, some, for something a little bit bigger here. So the first things first, when you want to put emphasis on any piece of text, you need to create contrast. So grab the textile tool, select your first layer here. So motion designer is not the most important text here. Let's go ahead and go to Gotham here, which is our typeface. And we have several different font variations in here, which Gotham is an amazing typeface, a safe one to play with. And we can change this to say book. Now we have some contrast in this composition. And if we want, we can make this a little bit bigger. We go to our two text titles over here and we really want these to stand out as well. So make these nice and large. And actually maybe we'll make this a little bit smaller. So now there is apparent contrast between our subtitle and our title here. Now this is not presented amazingly. Yeah, I like the other version a little bit better. So let's, can, let's add some graphics on here to add some good separation. So let's grab the rectangle tool here and turn the stroke off, go to fill, and we'll turn this to solid color. And we'll just maybe change the color real quick so we can see what we're doing. And we'll just draw out a box on top of our you know name here. And we'll put this layer underneath our first name. And we'll set the track mat to alpha inverted mat. And of course, maybe now we'll change the color to white. So that looks good. Okay. So we'll want to, you know, match this shape layer up as best as we can. So maybe move this over. 
So, so far this looks great because we have a parent contrast between our, I'll call this the subtitle and our main titles here. And obviously our two main titles were exactly the same. And by adding this box, it really adds a lot of way to, you know, add contrast, break up the, you know, tight face choice and put a lot of emphasis on what's important here. So I think that's a really nice way to present your text. So being a little bit creative and, you know, laying out your text in a nice way. And then you can add an extra graphic to help enhance that. That's going to be amazing. So let's go ahead and bring in my Tinder profile picture. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that mean grub. Ugh. Okay, so what we want to do here is obviously, you know, we don't want to place that there just like that because that doesn't look good. This is, you know, you're going to have any, you know, uh, photo size. It doesn't even have to be a photo of yourself. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just going to show you how to bring in an image. So maybe we'll do like a rectangle. You could do an ellipse. It doesn't really matter, but we'll come here, make sure no layer selected, and we'll draw out a nice rectangle like this. And we'll position this, say, right here. Okay, so now we want to bring our, you know, picture on top of our you know, shape layer here, we want to scale this proportionally and bring the shape layer on top of your profile picture or whatever that is and set the track map to the sh of the picture to alpha map. And then you can just move your picture over and yes, hit me up on Tinder. <laughs> okay, so there is our picture and what we can do to maybe add some more detail to this because just having a picture with all this white border stuff in here isn't really my t taste here. So come here, duplicate the shape layer, turn it on, bring it underneath the picture and we can just click on the word stroke, set this to solid color, and we can add a nice stroke around our profile picture. And that kind of blends in with, you know, the rest of the design in here. We have some consistency, which is something you want to think about is, you know, one basic element and how can I duplicate this multiple times across our composition? And here it is. So that looks cool. So now we have this blank area here in the left side of the composition. And, you know, it's not amazing. If you have some text in here, we're going to do that. But let's just say that we don't have any text. What we can do is just maybe bring this down here. And I feel like this might be in a better place than up here. Um, so just think about positioning what you have and seeing where it looks best um, as, you know, you have some extra choices. And maybe this needs to be center aligned. Obviously, there's a lot of options here, but we are going to put some text down here. So uh, let's just assume that we don't have a lot of information. So if you have a lot of information, obviously, you're going to want to make the typeface, you know, relatively small enough to fit it in here. But for those of us who don't have a lot of information, we just want to put, like, say, a cool quote. What we can do is just come here, grab your textile tool, and we can enter a quote. Maybe, uh, what's my quote? Here's my inspirational quote. Hopefully, you guys are motivated by my quote. <laughs> we can see that this does not look amazing. It's just not really standing out. There's no emphasis on what's important here. And we're still in the same situation where, hey, there's, like, all the space here. We're not using it correctly. So grab this title, and you're going to want to make this, you know, maybe bold as big as you can. And then we'll go ahead and increase the typeface by a little bit. Or, sorry, this font size. And make sure that this is going to be aligned with your text over here. You bring it down. Okay, and of course, you're going to want to you know, select the text and maybe make this italic as well if it's a quote or whatever. Just in our case, we'll do that. So now we have this nice spread out information here. You know, it looks like nothing is overpowering each other and it's clean. But we're using all of the space here to make it look like we did a lot of work. And it's not just, you know a disproportional amount of information as we just had our title up here and nothing down here. So, and this is how you can work with a little bit of information and spread it across the entire design. So this is mostly, you know, graphic design, but, and I don't want to get too much into the animation of all this because we have plenty of, you know, title animation tutorials out there. I'll link some of those in the description, but I want to show you really quick. If I was going to animate this and I had it like two minutes, this is how I would animate this entire sequence. So I have this plugin called animation composer. I'll drop a link in the description and here's this animation composer window and what I'm going to do I come here to transition presets I go to 2d layer transformations so maybe I'll select all my titles here at the top so select all these in the timeline we'll come here to uh, position and I can preview the animation of what I want to do so that's not bad maybe we'll do this I'll drag this into apply it as in and I'm going here to more tools I'll go here to transition shifter and I can you know increase this by five frames here at the bottom click on do and now boom so now I just animated my title here on the left and it took literally a couple seconds and now I can grab some more animations in here so maybe I'll grab my title come here to position and scale I think that's cool we'll come here and apply it as in we'll bring it over here bring in the endpoint. 
I can grab my picture. Maybe we'll do like a fade and scale. We'll apply it as in. Move this over. And maybe we'll offset this by five frames as well. And literally after two minutes, we animated this entire sequence and it looks amazing. It looks like we put maybe, you know, 10 minutes into the animation to make this look how it should be. And we did it in two minutes. So that's what Animation Composer does. And that's Animation Composer in a nutshell. I made a full video on it and I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description if you want to check out and learn more about it. It's amazing. It saves you a ton of time. It's all these animation presets that are pre-built and they're constantly updating it. So that's awesome. So this is how you can take information and present it in a very nice minimalistic way, but making sure that you fill up the entire screen. So this is one of our, you know, I guess say graphic design slash minimum animation tutorials where we just focus on the design and thinking about how you can apply graphic design to animation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please be sure to drop a like on the video because it lets me know that this video was good. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this and be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video and always be creating.